this is a complete installation that I'll be doing on Ubuntu 22.04. So I'm running Proxmox. I'll be converting this to template and I'll be sharing this with you so that you can simply import it into your Proxmox environment and complete ERP Next will be working. With all the applications that you need, I'll be installing HR application also. So let me start this machine now, Ubuntu 22.04, which is running right now. I need to enable the SSH sudo nano slash etc slash ssh slash ssh d underscore config so i'll be changing the configuration here if you go down here permit root login here i'll be doing permit root login and this will be yes and that's it and i'll be restarting the service now sudo system ctl restart so i'm now logged in so first things first we need to make sure that it is updated so we'll do sudo apt get update and apt get upgrade and it will be with yes extension we need to make sure that everything is up to date so first of all restarting the server we will be installing all the required packages here so first of all sudo apt get install it is python 3 and it is dev environment of the python 3 and then python 3.11 also i'll be installing and then i'll be installing the python 3 setup tools also and python 3 pip and then i'll be installing python 3 utilities utils and then i'll be also installing software properties common and then i'll be installing xvfp library for font config and then i'll be installing wk html to pdf and then lib mysql client and dash dev and for all i'll be using dash y so that it will not ask my permission so it is lib font config in fact these all packages are installed so it's good to reboot it once uh, once you have installed these packages so that it doesn't give any problem so we'll just wait for this restart to complete all right so now we'll be installing python virtual environment so we'll be doing sudo apt get install python 3.11 v e n v y so this is python virtual environment all right so virtual environment is installed install one more package which is sudo app get install python is python 3 and dash y we need to ensure that the python version is correct and python 3 version is correct so we'll be checking python 3 will be installing node.js so i'll copy this complete command here and we'll go here back and we'll install this so I'll share the link of this also in the description where you can install Node.js here. So we have installed this Node.js using the dev package Node.js library. And we'll be checking the Node version, Node version. So it is 20.10. Now we'll be installing Redis server apt get install Node.js and Redis server. So both will be installing. I will also be installing two more packages which is crone and git. So we'll be installing app get install crone and git dash y. So crone is already installed. Git will be installed here. All right. So node version. So we'll be installing the yarn now using npm. So npm install to install the updated version of this. All right. So we'll check the npm version now. It is 10.2.5 and it should be greater than 9 in fact. Now we'll be installing MariaDB here. So apt get install MariaDB server and MariaDB client with the extension Y. Press yes automatically once it is installed. All right, so the server is installed. We, we see here MariaDB, it is installed here. Now we'll be doing MySQL underscore secure underscore installation and enter the root password nothing is right now change the root password new password here if i check mysql dash u root and dash p all right so we are able to log into the mariadb server in mariadb we need to make few changes here so we will go here cd space etc slash mysql cd maria db dot conf dot d 
and here we have this particular server configuration so we'll be updating this sudo nano and 50 serveconfig so we'll be changing this configuration here and we'll add few lines here i'll just show you that i'll be typing it down here in the description also you will find that this one is fine but here we need to instead of general we need to change it to unicode so this will be unicode this configuration was for mysql d we can add the configuration of mysql also here so we'll be just typing in here and save the configuration now we can restart the maria c db to make sure that everything is working fine so we'll do system ctl restart maria db if anything is wrong it will not start if everything is fine it will work and i'll check the status of this also now all right so maria db is active and running right now now we need to add the user of course we have created everything under root it is not good idea to use root for erp next so we can use any other name so i'll be using my name for this purpose so i'll be using user add dash m dash s slash bin slash bash and it will be amjad now the user has been added so i'll be using password a new password i'll be entering and here the password is updated successfully now i'll be using user mode now i've been added to the pseudo group here now i'll be moving to my new users now i'll be setting the path of the users we'll be moving to dot bash rc here at the end of this anywhere i can add path of the bin location so i'll be adding it here and close this and yes all right so we have done this now I'll be creating a directory called bench inside opt folder I'll be creating and the folder called bench mkdir bench all right so bench folder is created here I'll be giving the rights on this folder changing the directory I'll be running the commands inside the directory op slash bench and here yarn add node css all right so it is done now so yarn version so it is 1.22.21 this is the latest version right now which is available everything is fine so on this particular user we'll be installing pip3 install and we'll be installing frappe dash bench bench all right so bench is installed now using the bench command now and we'll be creating bench in it frappe bench and what we'll be installing here we'll be getting the branch also for frappe dash branch and it will be version 15 it is setting up the python environment bench frappe has been initiated now but if i start bench bench start error proc file does not exist we'll go to cd frappe bench bench start so it will start it and ready to accept the connections i can run this here so right now nothing is there because there is no site associated with it now we'll be creating a new site here bench new dash site erp.syncbricks.com and mysql root password it is installing frappe now all right so we'll be setting the administrate password now and re-enter the administrator password so the frappe site has been created of course but right now the apps are not installed so i'll be getting the apps here i'll be getting bench get app erp next and it will be branch version will be branch version 15. we'll also get another app which will be bench get app it will be hrms and again for hrms it will be branch version 15. so it is cloning the app now installing hrms
so we got these both applications one was hrms and another was erp next now it is time to install these applications to the site so i'll be going to bench dash site and site was erp.syncbricks.com install dash app first app is erp next so this app will be installed on site i'll be installing now the hrms so same command we'll be using with the install app it will be hrms this time so we'll wait for this also to complete it will take some time all right so it has been installed now so i'll be doing bench start it is ready to accept the connection so i'll be just going here so this is using the default site here i'll be saying it first bench use erp.syncbricks.com so default site will be set and now i'll be doing bench start the erp will be loading all right so here our erp next 15 has been successfully installed all the modules related to hr so recruitment employee life cycle all of that is installed here and if i go here to help about you can see erp next version 15.5 frappe framework version 15.4 and frappe hr version 15.5 these are all installed right now 